Hey everyone, this is Adam with GoChain, and today I just wanted to make a tutorial showing you guys how to use Ledger devices with GoChain and interact with services like My Ether Wallet so that you can securely store your GoChain or other digital assets on a hardware wallet and how to use that. So this assumes that you do have a Ledger device. I have a Ledger Nano X here given to me by the Ledger team at CES 2018. Big shout out to them, but this tutorial will work for any Nano device. Uh, whether you have the S or you're going to be getting the X. Um, and now the main application to use with Ledger is going to be Ledger's own Ledger Live application, which is available on iOS here. It is on uh, Android as well as uh, PC platforms as well. So just check out Ledger's website if you want to download other methods. So I'm going to have Ledger Live open up here after downloading it from the App Store. And... I'm going to go to the manager and find my device in here. If you haven't paired it already, make sure to pair the new device and follow the instructions. Of course, uh, my ledger here is already set up. It's been plugged in and I've created my seed phrases and my pin code. So make sure to follow the instructions in the actual uh, device's pamphlet uh, to set it up. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is unlock my ledger here. All right, so I got my pin code in here. So now we can see we just have uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin on here right now. Um, so now that I have this all unlocked, I'm going to go to Ledger Live and select the device to pair with. It's going to say if anything prop props up, go ahead and allow it on the Ledger device. We'll let it do its thing. Alright, so now we are in under the Manager section and we can manage the applications that are installed on the device. Now we're going to scroll down and find GoChain here. Uh, looks like 1.18 and we will go ahead and download that and it will install the application. Just make sure that your phone's open and that the ledger's unlocked and let it do its thing. Alright, so GoChain has successfully installed. I can hit go to accounts and interact with other portions of the application which I haven't set up yet. But if I go ahead and go into my ledger Let's unlock it again here. All right, so we are unlocked and we can see that we have Ethereum, Bitcoin, and now we do have GoChain installed. So now with GoChain in, we're gonna launch that application and it's just simply gonna say the application is ready for use. Just make sure this is plugged into the computer that you're gonna be using to access My Ether Wallet. So now we're gonna go over to My Ether Wallet and the first thing that you want to do is change the network over to Go at the top right corner. Make sure that it's connected to the GoChain mainnet. And then to access our wallet, we can go ahead and go to send and we will go down to the Ledger Wallet option. And it's as simple as hitting connect to Ledger Wallet. Now it will pull up some different paths that are a little technical here. Just make sure that it is under the network GoChain by default. So I'm just gonna select the top one and unlock my wallet. So now I have access to the account address. I can see how much GoChain is on here. I can see my tokens, and then I also have the ability to send to another address. So I won't go over sending transactions here, but this is simply how to use your ledger safely uh, to store your private key and authenticate a wallet to be able to access it. So I hope this was useful. Again, this will work on all ledger devices. Uh, just make sure that you have the Ledger Live application and that you've set up the Ledger Nano X uh, per the specifications in the pamphlet. Now, always be sure to be safe when using your cryptocurrency. This is not an endorsement of any product or service, so do your research when it comes to hardware wallets and using services like My Ether Wallet. There is no 100% foolproof way to protect your cryptocurrency or any of your assets for that matter. So always make sure to do your due diligence all right, well, thank you so much for joining the tutorial today. We'll make sure to do many more of these. Hope this was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, give us a subscribe or a like, and have a great rest of the day.